Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. I hope you enjoyed a fantastic holiday season and you're ready to meet the new year with renewed focus and energy. Now, to help you avoid the post-holiday blues, I'm gonna be introducing to you another Beatles classic in Paul McCartney's Lady Madonna. We're gonna be converting all of Paul's bass lines and piano lines to the guitar, so this one's gonna really keep your fingers busy. Now before we get to our lesson, I wanna remind you all that this channel is viewer supported. So if you've enjoyed the work I've done so far and wanna help me take it to the next level in 2016, please consider heading over to patreon.com slash swiftlessons where you can make a small monthly contribution. All right, now let's get started with your lesson. Two, three, four. Okay, a close look at the fretboard and we're getting started with our intro and verse sections. The chords are gonna be needed, an A major. Okay, or an A7. They're basically interchangeable throughout the tune. And a D7 chord. An F major, which can be played in a variety of different ways. You can do a full bar on the first fret. Or you could do a little miniature version. Or play it in the way that maybe Jimi Hendrix or John Frusciante would. All right, with our two fingers here in the bass end. Third fret A, third fret D with the pinky, middle finger on the G string, and then barring over the B string and high E string. Now you can wrap around and grab your root, as I do in my demonstration from time to time. And you can use the same exact shape to achieve a G major chord. So, A major chord. Lady Madonna to the D7. Children at your feet. Repeats again. Wonder how you managed to. And then right at the end, where the melody changes, make ends meet. F, G, A. Okay, so that's the basic outline of that chord progression. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of Paul's piano melody, like this. Okay, so this section is going to involve a lot more picking. So I have the A major chord, and I'm going to begin by plucking the A string, then strumming down from the D string to the high E string. Then I'm going to play the B string twice with a down upstroke. Then I'll take it to the uh, C note on the first fret of the B string. Then the open B string. And then a strum of my D7 chord. I'll throw in a couple extra strums there after that. Down, up, down. All right, then the second time we're gonna go root strum, one, O. 
line right to the D7 chord. So far we have. All right, same thing, I'll throw in that down up down there at the end of that second round. All right, then the last one. Root of the A chord, strum, E string. So I won't strum all the way on that strum because I don't want to include that melody note just yet. See that? I strum down to the B string. After the high E string pluck, I'm going to go back to the B string. Root, strum, E, B. Then the D7 chord. I'm going to strum it once. Then play the open E string. After that, I'll pluck the B string and the G string. So far, we have. All right, now we're ready for our F G change. I'm gonna play an F bar chord or wrap it. Root strum, root strum on the G, and then right back to the A chord. I'm gonna play that whole thing nice and slow now. All right, and I just threw an extra down up down there at the end to wrap the whole thing up. Okay, so that is what he plays in the intro and also the first verse. But in later verses, he switches things up and plays this instead. A one, two, three, four. Okay, now once real slow. Okay, so in this section, we're going to play an A major chord, but we're not going to play it the traditional way. We're going to bar it using our first finger, draping it over the second fret of the D, G, and B strings. And we're only going to strum down that far. We begin by plucking the root, and then strumming through the chord down to the B string. Now after that, I like to slide either from two or three going up to the fourth fret then strum the chord again. Then I'm gonna play a D7 chord, root, strum. Then I'm gonna do the same exact thing, slide in, uh, maybe from two or three, I'll go from two. Then play the G string, second fret. in a couple of extra strums, root, strum, slide, two, root, strum, maybe down and up there, just like that on the D7 chord, so it'll be root, down, up, if you want to add a little extra rhythm. Then slide. Here we are at the end. I'm gonna go root strum, root strum. I just took my middle finger up one string to the second fret D string. Now that chord out of context sounds a little abrasive, but it's gonna sound great when you resolve it using the F, root strum, the G, root strum, and then back to the A chord. Now, some players might prefer to treat that A section, the A major chord, with a roll, which is a great country touch. We're gonna play root strum, and then just take middle finger, third fret, and hammer up to the fourth fret. It's gonna give it a slightly different feel, and will be a little tougher to get to the D7 chord from that. We're a little less time there, okay? But it sounds great if you can manage to fit it in. just like that. 
Okay, this next section, I think we're gonna be able to get just with the zoom in on the left hand. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so this is my personal adaptation of what you're hearing in the actual track. It's not the exact bass line, but rather it's one that works specifically well for the guitar. So I'll start off with a D minor chord and play root strum. So D string, strum through. Then my middle finger will grab a C. Same thing, root strum. Then a B. Finally, an A note and then a strum. Now with just two fingers left of my D minor chord, that's the uh, B string third fret and the first fret of the high E string still intact. An extra upstroke sounds great. Then we'll go to a G major chord. On the G chord I like the strum root down, down, up, down, up. Kind of a country pattern. After that, I'm gonna play. All right, so that's me walking up to a C chord from my G shape. I wanna also mention that the G chord could have also been a G7. So either one of those forms of G major will be fine. Then we're gonna play three, O on the A string, one, two, C major chord. Root, down, up, up, down, up. Same exact strumming pattern that we had on the G chord. Okay, so far we have. All right, now I'm gonna play root, down, up. Grab a B note, root, down, up. Okay, now I just have the B note on the second fret A string and the C note on the first fret of the B string. And then that'll take me to an A minor seven. Okay, now on the A minor seven, we can do a regular A minor. We're gonna go. So this is A minor seven, root down up, grab a B note, root down up, grab a C note, root down up, and then grab a C sharp, big stretch. Okay, now remember all of these bass lines can be skipped if you uh, have trouble reaching or if you're just not ready for it. Just the chords sound great too. All right, then repeat. up that last G and then play a C major chord or a C slash G which is what I prefer just keep taking that third finger up one string and the pinky underneath C how a B minor chord they run. so we had an E sus which is basically an A major shape up one string and then an E major chord regular garden variety Okay, let's play that whole thing now. Walking it down to the A minor 7, B, C, C sharp, D minor. Third a G7 there on that second go around of the G, then C with a G in the bass. All right, for a fantastic way of playing to that chorus. Okay, so that chorus section is going to be used for the instrumental section as well, where we're going to be playing. 
so on and so forth. So you already have that covered. Now all we need is the outro. It's gonna look like this. Okay, so this is gonna be coming out of that Roland version of the verse. All we're playing is the A major chord. Root down, down, up, down, up. Then we're gonna play this shape. My middle finger is on the uh, fourth fret of the D string and my first finger is on the third fret of the B string. So this is kind of like a, an A6 chord. We have. Then I'm gonna slide my A7 shape up to the fourth fret and drag it back chromatically. Four, four, three, two. sure to block my low E string. All right, now you have it. You've achieved your intro verse, your chorus, and your outro. You're ready to perform. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on the Beatles' Lady Madonna. Thanks so much to everyone who has contributed at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. You're amazing. I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.